Hey guys, welcome to an A-Spray introduction, where I'll show you around the interface and show you how to use the tools. Okay, so this is the home menu. Uh, here you'll see your recent files and your recent folders. And here is the news of A-Spray and updates. I'm using version 1.17, or 1.1.7. Here you can see new file and open file, which can also be accessed through the file tab up here. So we're just going to do a new file. Let's just make it 32 by 32. Or this is your canvas. To zoom, you use the scroll wheel. Scroll in and scroll out to zoom in and out. And to pan around without using the pan tool, uh, you just press middle mouse button or space bar. Space and click. Over here, we have our tools. The first tool is the selection tool. The selection tool has many different shapes and modes. The rectangle tool elliptical tool, the lasso tool, polygonal lasso tool, and the magic wand. Rectangle, select the rectangle, ellipse, select an ellipse, lasso, lasso shape, polygonal lasso, create the polygon, and then the magic wand selects, an, selects a specific color or group, and you can Select one area and press shift to select another area as well. So you can select two areas at the same time, which is especially useful. Our next tool is the pencil tool, which is self-explanatory. It's a pencil tool. To undo and redo, you use control Y and control Z. You can actually click here and shift click somewhere else to create a line. And the next tool is the spray tool, which is inherited from the pencil tool which just sprays around. And you can change the spray and the spray speed. Over here on the left you have the palette. You can select different presets of palettes by clicking this button up here. And you have all these palettes. I'm using the Google UI palette. And you can left click on one of these colors to select it as your primary color. And you can right click another color to select it as your secondary color. Your secondary color can be activated when you right-click. So left-click for primary, and right-click for secondary. The next tool is the eraser tool, which erases, and its shortcut is E. To expand any width of a tool, you use the plus and minus buttons on your keyboard. There's also the eyedropper tool, which can be used with just alt. I advise you use Alt instead of just selecting it from here. The Zoom and Pan tool, which can be used just by using your mouse, so they're not that useful. The Move tool moves the current layer you're on. The Fill tool, which fills a certain area or a certain color. The Line tool, and you can hold Shift to have different directions, even an isometric direction. And then the Curve tool, which makes a Bezier curve. The Rectangle tool, hollowed out. The Filled Rectangle tool. The Ellipse tool, which you can change the size of. And the Filled Ellipse tool. The Contour tool allows you to draw a shape and it fills it in and then the polygon tool allows you to create a polygon that it fills in automatically now this is where it gets extremely useful let's say you have two colors here and you want to blend them together or scramble the pixels up you can select the blur tool to blend them together and you can select the jumble tool to jumble the pixels up so those are the basic tools. You can also select a color right here in the color picker, or you can just use the palette. But that is the basic tools and interface of Ace Bright. Thanks for watching. Bye.